Hey friends, welcome to Hacking Slash Crafts. So, I built a volcano this week. I'm pretty excited by it. This bad boy is styrofoam and acrylic caulking, which are uh, two kind of unusual materials choices for me. Uh, but I really like the way that styrofoam, when you get, you know, this big honking thing, isn't too heavy and feels nice and springy. It's pretty durable. Normal insulation foam has good shock resistance, but doesn't have that much compression strength. Uh, whereas styrofoam, as long as it's not crumbling, is pretty darn strong. The only problem it has is those little beads. So there are two problems with that. Uh, one is the edges will crumble really easily. And two is that it looks like a bunch of little beads. The acrylic caulking is thick enough that it ends up being a hard coat that is flexible, I guess it's not actually a hard coat, a flex coat, it covers up the texture of the styrofoam pretty darn well. You can even see here's a fairly thin coat. I think it looks pretty good. You can still see how I built it. I'm not too worried about that. You can also see this has already received some uh, wear and tear love. So not invincible, but quick, easy, fun. It doesn't really require that much, that many tools or unusual materials. This is stuff you can get at the hardware store and carve with a knife. So let's get into how I made it. <gasps> I love these styrofoam cubes. They're so easy to make a shape and just play with. I used a hot wire for this, but you can totally just use a knife. I didn't need hot wire. No real rhyme or reason here, just trying to not make it look like a stack of cubes. I cut the little chimney. I cut the chimney for the lava. I think just out of uh, seeing too many dioramas for science class. A hot air gun does a couple of things here. It exaggerates the beads of the foam in a way that makes it look less like styrofoam. It also helps to create a harder outside texture. Acrylic caulking here is to make it so it has some more durability. But it is sticky and messy. This wet brush is my attempts to wet blend the two colors together to make them look a little more natural in the gradient between yellow and red. Stippling. Nice thing about 
the lava is the fact that it glows. So, if you get some on the uh, surrounding rock, that just looks like light coming out the lava. No big deal. Dry brushing to pick up some of the texture. Exaggerate the three dimensions. it there's some things about this that i would change i think given another try um the acrylic caulking worked well i think it could use more acrylic caulking if anything there are some portions that i'm sure you probably have already seen where the caulking wasn't thick enough and it ended up uh chipping that being said this has received a lot of love so you're not seeing a uh, normal amount of wear from this this is some advanced wear which is a hint towards where this is all leading so I hope you stay with me as I work on these videos. I think the next one is going to be the big reveal of what all of this has been contributing towards. I'm really excited for you to see it. I've been having lots of fun with it. So has some other people. So yeah, we'll get to that next time. And until then, have fun cutting things up. See ya.